Hello everybody and welcome to Card of Legend. This is a deck building roguelike in the same vein where you have you enter a dungeon with branching paths such as this and I mean just like these kind of games always work is that you start off with your standard deck you start off fairly weak with no no buffs or items or anything and as you make your way through the dungeon uh you gradually get stronger and stronger and the further you go the more rewards you're going to get and then when you go to your main hub there are uh different activities that you can do you can upgrade your cards to become stronger uh the cards that you have collected you can choose to revamp your deck uh, so you start out with your adventure deck with 40 cards and it's basically just you know mostly it's just two of every certain kind of basic card uh, and then as you progress through the dungeon you don't get cards from the dungeon but rather the shop over here uh, what you get from the dungeon is your gold and then from here you can go into the shop and there's going to be a variety of cards for you to purchase uh, that way and then you get a free refresh every 30 minutes or you can refresh with 200 gold and see what cards pop up so there's this mirror card that pops up that I can buy um, reduces the cost for one card in your hand by one that's actually kind of good uh, and I can get it and usually judging by the price um or by the stars of the card determines their price and i th think it goes up to four stars four stars are like super ultra uh hero type cards that have really cool abilities whereas your one stars are basically your basic ones with you know nothing nothing really good about them they're just your opening uh starting cards so i'm actually gonna buy her uh, and then I'm going to uh, put her in the deck. So we want Cherry. And let's take out... Um, let's take out a basic card. Or maybe one of the more expensive cards that I don't really use. And right now the card itself doesn't have much synergy as it's just kind of throwing together a bunch of random stuff. But as you can see, some of these, uh, their skill descriptions, it'll synergize with certain elements. Uh, so like this one grants units uh, one HP to five allied units except dark. So that this is a holy character. It doesn't benefit your dark characters. Um, and then there's spell cards that do the same thing that don't benefit certain elemental type so as you increase your deck size uh, you're going to be able to create more synergetic teams now there is this dungeon that is locked off i'm not sure what that is uh this trial mode are a bunch of challenges where you claim rewards uh and you operate on a deck of 20 cards and you know have special challenges of you know try and win within a certain amount of turns it kind of feels a lot like a gotcha there's also arena which i'm assuming is probably pvp it it, it feels a lot like a gotcha game it even has like a ui layout of a gotcha game but there is no gotcha i'm not seeing a gotcha maybe they're gonna add one in for a full release i would hope not because i think as it is right now it's actually pretty fun uh, without any sort of gotcha mechanic um but we'll see where things go how things develop as uh the game progresses uh so we're going to go in here uh now to start off with you can select a card to replace or you have to select a card to replace i'm going to go ahead and throw in King's Blessing, because I don't think I'm going to need that right away. Oh, the opponent goes first. Okay. 
And so the way it works is similar to these kind of like card game layouts is your cards are going to have a cost up in the upper left corner. So zero, two, one, one, uh, two, seven. Oh, I got my, this is my hero card. He's awesome. Um, that's your cost, your cost, your mana down here is, uh, what you can use on your per turn basis. So right now I can do three out of three and it goes up by one every turn. Um, so we're going to start, we have Annabelle grants fire, sh uh, a shield to fire units when I use her. So I don't want to use her just yet. Copies one spell card, except dark that costs two or less from the opponent's deck to your hand. That might be useful. So we're going to start off with, uh, this girl here and you can see the arrows. These arrows indicate which square she can attack. So she can attack these three squares and as a flyer unit, uh, she can only be retaliated by another flyer unit. So when you attack, you attack at the same time. Both cards will attack at the same time. They'll do damage to each other at the same time. So it's like similar to like Hearthstone and Shadowverse and all that stuff. Uh, but they, she only re uh, receives retaliation damage against other flyers. And it's the same with other archers and other warrior cards. Now, when you play a card, they start off with being in a state of rest. So you can't do anything when you first play a card. You have to wait until the next turn. It's going to take some damage. That's going to suck. But it is what it is. Uh, so I can play this card here. Okay, so we'll do this. So we'll play this. Um, so I used her and it, I guess they didn't have any spell cards that I could use. So that's unfortunate. Then we're going to regain one mana. And then we're going to heal up some HP. And then we're going to advance. Uh, so only she could attack next turn. She'll wake up and she'll be able to attack. And then we will uh, be able to clear the board a little bit more. Uh, once I get seven mana and am able to put Adelaide on, she will wreck everything. That's what I need to work towards right now. And uh, you can tell the elements by uh, the color of the icon. So there is grass, holy, fire, water. Um, I'm not going to wait for fire unit to make use of her shield. As right, so when I kill one of these uh, creatures, I think they have. Yeah, this one has a trap on it. Arachnophobia. When it dies, it's going to summon three spiders the field i'm gonna watch out for that it's gonna kind of it's gonna suck a little bit but i think out oh, there he goes all right what did a lot of spiders um i'm going to there's an allied holy card on the field. Grants the summon units plus two, plus four. So I do have a holy. The plus two, plus four is the plus two to the attack and plus four to the HP. I'm going to summon two honor guards. They get a boost. Then I'm going to clear out some of this board. Once I don't have any enemies in front of my card, so... Uh, for this card here, if nobody, no enemy goes there, which they will, uh, then I'll be able to attack the opposing side directly and start chipping away at their health. But first, I just got to, I gotta thin out this board a little bit. Ooh. Grants three allied melee units on the field, plus two attack until the next turn. So I have one, two, three. I do have three. 
can also use... I'm actually going to get her online immediately. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Board is clear. Now we can start messing them up next turn. Alright, so we're going to... Good old Berserk there. We're going to get rid of them. And we're going to mess them up. Nice. That was a little overkill. There we go. In one fell swoop. And after every battle, you get your, your blessings uh, to help you as you advance further in the stage. Uh, unit advance grants plus two shield to all allied metal units. And so this is sort of where like dex energy comes into play. So you can get certain blessings that will benefit certain decks or just general uh, blessings. Um, so if I get this one and I get multiple copies, that chance does go up. I'm going to actually go for that one. And then I also have a chance to get a new card to add to my deck. Uh, and so you don't keep these cards after the end of a run. Uh, but they do allow you to sort of experiment with um, certain cards so that when you do see them pop up in the shop, uh, you can pick them up. So I'm actually going to pick up that one. I want to try that one out. Um, so let's go ahead and, you know what, I'm going to minus 20% HP. So, plus one HP to allied grass units. Add one card from the graveyard to your deck. First turn, summon guardian sphere. Let's grab that. Um, all right, let's go into a basic fight. We're going to replace... King's Blessing again. Um, yeah, King's Blessing again. Ooh, we got the Pirate. Oh, I like her. Right, Guardian Spirit. So, get a little free... A free block for these two squ uh, spaces. That's good. Um, so, I'm going to send out... Apprentice Knight... I'm gonna block the middle. So I don't actually have to worry about this guy just yet. Copies one spell card that costs two or less from the opponent's deck to your hand. Oh, okay. What do I get? When your opponent uses a unit to summon a uh, Deepwood Archer to one of the three slots in the front. Oh, when your opponent uses a unit, summon... Okay. Cool. Oh, and I even got a free pot shot. Deepwood Archer. Okay, so now I need to block that one out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this. I'm use the trap card. And then I will end my turn. Okay, so they're, cha they're exchanging pot shots. He's got a trap card as well. Ouch. Three, two, two. Um. Oh, they're so separated.
But I feel like he has that archer card, so he's gonna summon a archer. Ah, uh, yep. There it is. And then let me. I don't have fire. I'm gonna do that anyways. Next turn, I'll play the pirate. There we go. There's my archer. Ouch! Let's use that. Get rid of them. Use my mana. Bring out the pirate. Get a little bit of healing. Oof. Okay. All right, we got our little helper deckhand. I can do three more times. Summon three more deckhands. Mobilizes a selected target. Go ahead and shave off a couple of uh, stuff from you. you up a bit there we go uh let's see we can get another summon spirit first turn summon one s2 guardian spirit Activated when there is an allied dark card on the battlefield. Deals one damage to all enemy units with a 25 chance. I'm actually going to get the second guardian. When attacking an enemy with an attack of three or more, return that unit to the opponent's hand. Increase the cost by one. Play copies of the two highest cost water card units with an attack of three or less. Eh. Each fire card used in the match reduces this unit's cost by one. Nine? What the? Hack deals. Let's grab the trap card. And then let's send back. Uh, let's send back Pirate. Can't play you just yet. We got our guardian spirit. Trap. When your opponent uses a melee unit, summon an apprentice ran out to the front. Um, this one does not have a lot of melee units. I think the spiders are mostly archers. They have the wisp. Turn start creates one confections card in your deck. I don't know what that does. I'm getting rid of you. There's the archer. When attacking an enemy with an attack of three or more, return that card. We don't need that just yet. Let's go ahead and... Put you there. Put you over here. Alright, so 
so they have the arachnophobia on there. That's gonna suck. Infection. Figure out what that does eventually, I suppose. here. I'm just gonna play that trap while we have it. Alright. I don't know what... Oh, that was my, my fan sending them back. That's... That's neat. Reduce the cost of four cards in your hand by one. Yes, please. Go ahead, summon the spiders. That guy plays. I have three melees. Go ahead and boost their attack. Come on. Oh god, what is happening? Ventus Rena, double attack. Oh, oh, there's that card. Okay. Uh, let's send you forward. You can get out of here. Guard can't attack. Okay, so the cabin is just a... It's just a roadblock. Ooh, double attack. I see. And throw you right here. Oh yeah, that's right. What do you do? Put the target if target is an enemy unit. Apply minus three attack. If it is an allied unit, accept fire. Grant a shield. Let's shield. Uh, you. You get a double attack. Oh god. Stop! You've got one HP? <laughs> Let me kill you! What is this nonsense? We got the pirate. This stupid spider. All right, so we got pirate cabin grants. All right, that's actually really good too. So that's gonna boost up some HP.
What in the world? What is this? Grass. Sure. Thank you. Holy cow. That one knew how to stall. Uh, let's see. Megaphone. Confusion. Damage to the enemy. Uh, yeah. Let's grab that. Grants three ranged units in your hand. Two plus two. Ooh, we got a remove debuffs from all allied units. Attack five or less. Um. Guess we do that. I have a lot of ranged units. Alright, we do minus HP again. Open the third chest. Uh oh. Uh, let's replace this one. Oh, and we get the pirate girl. Okay, so it's it's this uh this deck build. I see. And we have Adelaide, so it's it's already game over. We win. I'm just gonna take three hits because I can. Archers in my hands. Ironically, I don't have any in my hands. Uh, let's get the pirates. Get those pirates spawning in. Enemy has set a trap. Do I want to shield anybody? Not really. I'm going to do this one. I don't even know if I'll really use her. Oh, there we go. There's an archer. Can't do anything. Okay, now I I romance so I have two archers. I'll wait until I get one more. Ooh. GG's. Ouch. Double trap. Ooh, there is my uh, third archers. We're gonna go ahead and do this. And now they're juiced as hell. Completely destroyed. Didn't stand a chance. Store the player's HP by one. Grant one HP to allied grass units. Game dice. Let's reroll. Voodoo doll. Shield. I don't like those either. Reroll again. Grant sleep to the enemy. When there's an allied water card on the field, restore mana. Damn. All right, let's do this. Uh, and then we can get... Opponent turn start increase the cost of one card in the opponent's hand by three. 
on death adds one highest cost card that costs three or less from the opponent's graveyard to your deck. Oh, interesting. Grab that one. Let's get the Soul Breaker. And then we'll get to the Elite Battle over here, see if we can get sleep. All right. See if we could get through this Elite fight with what we've got so far. Um. Yeah, let's go get rid of that one again. Herald, as right, so we do have our scholar over here. Infections, let's go ahead and actually start with that. Click the target. Yeah, that's you're the shielder. You pretty good. We're gonna consolidate in the middle. wish I could discard cards over here we're gonna shield you and just let me keep attacking you unopposed Ooh, all right five star it's game over buddy I just drew my blue eyes white dragon. Ouch. Why are you so mean? Five. Take five damage. So I'm, I'm just taking pot shots at you, like you're dead, buddy. Doesn't even matter. Sure. Kill him. Ouch. Holy. All right. My blue eyes. My blue eyes, white dragon. She died. What the hell? And shield to all fire. I don't have any fire. We're going to throw you over there anyways. Terrifying. What in the world? Um, right. I just, I just need to hit you once. Need to hit you once. I may have gotten overconfident in my ability. Get 
Yo, where are my trap cards at? Uh, that is terrifying. Please! Oh no! Alright, things definitely took... Things definitely went south. I feel like this is something I need to like prioritize trap cards in the shop. Dear God. Oh, nice. I am in danger. I don't think there's coming any coming back from this. Ouch. Uh... Ouch. Stop. Yeah, I am <laughs> I am just having a very slow death at this point. I did not make the right decisions. Ouch, there we go. Okay. Uh so I did not overcome the elite enemy. Uh but you do get some rewards the further you go the more you're gonna get so i got the gold and i have some upgrade dust on um, you can see there is wood zone water zone fire steel light dark and then the demon castle uh and then i can just go over here and upgrade my cards uh, you can see all the cards you can upgrade i'm gonna upgrade uh, i don't know what if I were to upgrade you? Uh, so if I up for the upgrade, after the upgrade, they get uh, plus two, plus four. If I have a holy ally upgrade. Um, and then let's go back to the shop. Yeah, we're gonna get a free refresh. Um, so I don't have any money, so obviously I can't get anything. You just take a look and see what everybody, what's available to you. Without directly attacking, deal four damage to all enemy units. What the, what? That's absurd. But yeah, so there's a lot of interesting cards, a lot of interesting effects. I think it's a really neat a uh, game that has a lot of potential. I mean, it looks really nice. Uh, as long as they don't, you know, surprise with, randomly surprise you uh, with a gotcha mechanic, I think it would be pretty solid overall. I mean, they can add an icon right down there for like getting more cards and everything. Uh, I hope it doesn't go that route and they just sort of release it as is. Um, because, I mean, I think it's a pretty fun game in its own right. Uh, have no idea what PvP is going to be like, but I know for sure I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pull. Uh, but anyways, this was Card of Legends. I'll leave the link to the Steam page down in the description below so you can check it out for yourself uh, if this is something you're into. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you for the next video.